the smell of this, insane. Throughout his time touring DMV restaurants, TikToker Keith Lee has not held back. The entire customer service experience, in my opinion and in my family's opinion, was completely unprofessional. Jessica Sidman is a food editor at Washingtonian Magazine. She says Keith Lee should have known the restaurants here tend to be more upscale as opposed to the carryout he likes to eat in his car. I will say one good thing about his visit is he's got everybody talking about DC food, you know, everyone's got an opinion. And another critique from Lee. All the restaurants are geared directly towards alcohol. If you don't drink, it seems like it's slim pickings. One DC restaurant owner tells News 4, there's high demand here for drinks and live music. These individuals have intense jobs. They're spending, you know, maybe 10, 12 hours a day. And, you know, when they, um, you know, go out, they want the full experience and not just food. Booker Parchment owns Mr. Braxton Bar and Kitchen in Petworth. He's hoping Keith Lee makes a stop here before heading home. I think it would make sense for him to come back and kind of diversify his um, experience here in the DMV. As for where else Lee should eat, one DC TikToker says this is a city known for its international flavors. I just don't think that he gave it enough thought, enough research. And I feel like it's not also fair to assume that DC is just a place for like chicken wings and mambo sauce. It's not just a place for carryout. There are a ton of different like cuisines that he could have tried as well. All right, so Peep, recently Keith Lee has been to some controversy. You don't know who Keith Lee is. He's a food TikTok reviewer. He's like one of the most popular in the world right now at doing it. And as of right now, he's probably the most influential food critic in the world. So it's kind of crazy to think about it. But I'm pretty sure everybody knows who Keith Lee is. So let's just get to the point. Recently, Keith has been on a food tour, traveling to different states all around the country, trying their best food. And his latest stop was the DMV area. He Here's where the problem begins. Apparently he only reviewed three restaurants on this trip, even though he stated that he's been to over 12. The reason why is, is because he didn't think the food reviews were constructive and he didn't want to hurt the businesses. AKA he thought that shit was trash. So basically what I got from this is, DC, y'all food fucking sucks. I mean, he's too nice to say it, but he kind of passively, aggressively said it. But yeah, he just said the food is ass. And I mean, with pictures like this, I mean, I can't really blame nigga. Like, who the fuck? Shrimp on mac and cheese, bitch? But the people of Maryland didn't like his review that much. So much that they are trying to actually cancel this man. You got people over here sending death threats, talking about Keith Lee doesn't know what he's talking about. You even got the restaurant that he refused to mention, poster trash as food, talking about, we stand by our food. Y'all yeah, finna be standing in the hospital after eating that bullshit. Talking about we stand by our food. Yeah, you finna stand out of business, bitch. And honestly, I have two separate opinions about this whole ordeal. One, the people of Maryland are salty as fuck, which I do kind of understand. I mean, that's where you live. That's what you represent. Like, he's, like, I understand how you could feel like he's disrespecting you by disrespecting your food. But at the same time, nigga, you're a person and that is food. So why are you getting so mad that he doesn't like y'all food, bruh? Like, sending death threats through Twitter to this man, knowing that he's an MMA fighter, is absolutely wicked work in it's really just dumb and also it's completely unnecessary bro you have no skin into the game bro it's not your restaurant he's dissing and again he also didn't name any of the places that he didn't like so i truly don't understand why, like, why people are mad bro he did exactly what he was supposed to do called out the area but didn't hurt the businesses y'all should honestly be thanking him bro i'm not gonna lie to you but kind of playing devil's advocate it doesn't really make sense why keith lee went here let me explain. See, Keith is allergic to shellfish. And the main thing the DMV is known for is seafood. So him going to DC to try the quote unquote best food doesn't make sense when you can't try their best food. Which is the one thing I truly don't understand about this. Because all he was reviewing is soul food places just like he does everywhere else. Like, you're going to Maryland, bro. Nobody wants to try their soul food. And yeah, I get he got his family to try it, but like, nigga, we're not here for your family. We're here for you. So if you can't eat shellfish, don't go to a place where they're known for shellfish. It doesn't really make sense. That's like going to a barbecue you place while you're vegetarian bro like there's nothing there for you and another thing like you said in the video maryland is a place where there's a lot of casual sit down drink bars with food on the side why didn't you do your research about this place before going there if you don't drink then why would you go there like i feel like that's the only thing he did wrong why would you why would you like maryland isn't your target audience gang now if the people from maryland were begging this man to come out expecting that he was gonna like their food even though they know he's allergic to shellfish then that's on them 
them, I don't blame Keith. But like, if Keith chose to go there himself, probably should have done more research. Now again, I'm not saying that this whole situation is Keith's fault. I really think it's not. It's honestly just on Maryland having trash ass food, and then also the people in Maryland being too prideful. But I feel like there's always something that you can do better in a situation, and there's always things you can learn from, which I hope he does learn from this situation right here. Just like what he did with one of the previous places he went to. Atlanta, Georgia. See, Keith's review of Georgia was a little bit different, and the people of Georgia were, in my opinion, about the same, if not more hostile than people in Maryland. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Keith Lee went to Atlanta, Georgia about a couple months, maybe a year ago to review their food, and he also had very unpleasant experiences in Atlanta too. I'm gonna play you the video. This week has been insane. TikTok food critic Keith Lee just exposed the Atlanta restaurant scene. He says while on a recent food tour, he faced unusual rules, long wait times, and even declined service for his family. I stayed in the car and my family went in and they told them they were closed early for deep cleaning. Yet the door is wide open and his people still going in and grabbing orders. Many people, including Cardi B, agreed with his experiences. Eating in Atlanta, it is such an event. Who could barely order in Atlanta restaurant? At one restaurant, he said they had rules like not being served water until your full party is seated and charged a dollar for butter. The customer service was interesting. While the people were nice, the rules they had set were very unique to me. Since posting the videos, Lee has reminded people not to send hate toward the restaurants. I do not support, condone, or agree tearing down these businesses. At the end of the day, business owners are people. You never know what people are going through. If you would like to go to these places or any other place that I've been to, I encourage you to go try it for yourself and make your own opinion. And says he hopes speaking out about his experiences will improve dining experiences for everyone. So with this situation, I feel like he could have handled better. Again, this is mostly the city of Atlanta's fault. I mean, I've personally been to Atlanta. Customer service is usually not good. You got, oftentimes, you got to pay for every little thing. Like, you got to pay for, to park in the fucking restaurant parking lot. Like, bro, why am I paying to go pay to eat? Like, what are we talking about? And then restaurants in Atlanta love to tax like crazy for mid food, too just because they have namesake. So honestly, I completely understand why he wasn't pleased with his visit. That being said though, Mr. Lee knew his influence at the time. He knew that people lived and died about him. And knowing that he still put these businesses on the hot seat by making these reviews, which in my opinion, they deserve full heartedly. But to the masses, people didn't like that. See, Atlanta felt the same way that DC does right now. They felt that Keith was attacking them. They had too much pride in their city, even though their city, even though their city was corrupt with the restaurant business. And Keith faced a lot of backlash for this situation too. This is why I feel like he didn't air out the restaurants in the Maryland situation because he learned from the Atlanta situation, which is good, which is exactly what he's supposed to do. But I bring up the Atlanta situation to tell y'all Maryland niggas, relax. He's not attacking y'all, bro. He could have went way harder if he wanted to. He, he didn't even name the restaurants that he criticized, bro. Like, bro, he's really giving y'all a break. And also, I've never gotten the concept of hating people when they give things that you like a bad review. Nigga, it's their opinion. Not everybody's gonna have the same opinion as you. And you can't get mad at a person for thinking differently, bro. Yeah, it's okay to have little discourse or arguments, but getting mad, sending death threats, is crossing the line, bro. And also, if people don't give good reviews, things won't get better. Because any of these restaurants could do better. I promise you they can. They just not because they're trying to cut costs and make more money. So calling these restaurants out for what they are is what Keith should be doing. And we should be applauding him for that instead of criticizing him for not giving everything a 10 out of 10 but what do y'all think about this do y'all think keith is right do y'all think keith is a dumbass or do you just hate mr lee entirely let me know in the comments let me know how y'all feel and just know if keith lee came to nashville he would love it here and he should personally dm me because i'll give him all the best spots hopefully he sees this if not oh well but yo slide to the ville bro text me though i'm, I'm you feel me i'm gonna tag along on some real shit man i ain't gonna lie free cloud besides that that's pretty much it appreciate all y'all for watching thank you and goodbye we out